Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about long acting injectable zucloflavin salt deconate. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, professor of psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about zucloflavin salt deconate, how it is given, why it is given, how do you start, can we combine zucloflavin salt deconate which is usually given for maintenance along with zucloflavin salt acetate which is given in acute care can they be combined how it is to be combined and what does the research say about zucloflavin salt deconate in this video zucloflavin salt is a first generation antipsychotic it is a typical antipsychotic it is usually advocated in the maintenance treatment of chronic schizophrenia please remember zucloflavin salt deconate has been approved for marketing and giving for patient only in European and Asian countries. Whereas, zucloflavin salt deconate is not yet approved in US. That means, FDA has not yet approved zucloflavin salt deconate in US. What is the reason? I don't know. I did my research to know why zucloflavin salt deconate is not launched in US. The possibility may be the paucity of research or else whether the, ma the manufacturers did not want to sell it in US, it is not available online. However, the available literature, NHS guideline, all do have clearly indicated zucloflavin salt deconate can be given in chronic schizophrenia for maintenance treatment. Zucloflavin salt deconate, which is a maintenance drug, is usually the solid particle of drug will be dissolved in the oil. Invariably, it is a vegetable oil and then a cleared solution is formed which is oil based and that will be given as an injection. This oil based injection which is, which is injected into the intramuscular will slowly will be released into the blood. When it is released, this deconate has to undergo metabolism to release the active drug zucloflavin This slow release will determine the longest action of zucloflavin salt deconate. Now let's understand, once it is released, what is the mechanism of action? Once it is released into the blood, it will go to the brain and block D1, D2 and D5 receptors. And not only that, it may also have certain action on 5-HT receptor also. The maximum serum concentration of zucloflavin salt deconate reaches by 5 to 7 days. Now let's discuss about how zucloflavin salt is available in Indian market. It is available as a oral tablets 2mg, 10mg and 25mg. It is also available as a short acting injection that is called as zucloflavin salt acetate which is available as 50 mg per ml the long acting deconate which is given weekly twice 200 mg per ml is available now let's discuss about tablet zucloflavin salt as i mentioned it is available as 2 mg 10 mg and 25 mg the usual dosage is 25 to 50 mg here the four times of the oral tablet is the injectable dosage especially for maintenance dosage. Now let's discuss about zucloflavin salt acetate which is given for acute agitated violent patients that is in acute care. Zucloflavin salt acetate is given in an acute care. It is available as a 50 mg per ml and it cost only 200 rupees. Zucloflavin salt acetate is chosen in a patient who is acutely agitated violent who requires repeated sedation. If he requires 3 to 4 sedation, then the decision has to be chosen to give zucloflavin salt acetate. Whenever you give the zucloflavin salt acetate, the last injection should be given 1 hour before any injection was given. Suppose you are given haloperidol, you need to wait for 1 hour, then only you have to give zucloflavin salt acetate. It is usually given either 50 mg or 100 mg. Once you give zucloflavin salt acetate, the sedation kicks in only after 2 hours. 
the peak effect reaches at 36 hour and the zucloflethixol acetate effect will wear out by 72 hours how it is administered if there are no injection has been given zucloflethixol acetate is given at the zero hour the second dose if you want to give it only will be after 48 to 72 hours do not give zucloflethixol acetate two dosages in the same day caution should be exercised you should not push this iv or intraarterial this can cause gangrene zucloflethixol deconate for maintenance purposes in chronic schizophrenia this is available as 200 mg per ml. The single dose costs 660 rupees, that is $7. It is given once in two weeks. Some patients may develop EPS. Hence, you need to do regular follow up. And if it is not possible for regular follow up, anticholinergic drugs can be started concomitantly. Can we give zucloflethixol acetate and doconate together? Yes, of course. Whenever the patient, the decision has been taken to give zucloflethixol acetate for acute care at the zero hour dose 1 of 50 mg or 100 mg IM is given. Wait for 2 hours, the sedation starts in. The peak sedation will reach by 36 hour. And at the 72 hours, you can decide to give both zucloflethixol acetate 100 mg and zucloflethixol deconate 200 mg. Both the medications are mixed in a single syringe and will be given in a gluteal muscle deep intramuscular injection. That means it can be given together my dear friends. And this is highly helpful in a patient who requires a repeated sedation and who is highly violent and who is trying to escape from the hospital. And this has to be chosen where the patient is dangerous to self and to others. There was an one interesting studies which was published in Indian Journal of Psychiatry by Fernandes and his colleagues in 1999. The title of the study is An Open Label Trial of Zucloflethixol in Management of Acute Psychosis, a multi-centered study which is done in India. In this, 120 patients were recruited in the multi-centered study. Here, all these acute psychotic patients who had acute psychosis or schizophrenia or acute mania were recruited. At the zero hour, zucloflethixol acetate, either 50 mg or 100 mg is given. And after 72 hours, the combination of both zucloflethixol acetate 100 mg plus zucloflethixol 200 mg, both are mixed into same syringe, syringe and IM injection is given. That means zero hour you give zucloflethixol acetate. At the 72 hour you give the combination of zucloflethixol acetate 100 mg and 200 mg deconate. Mixing it in the same syringe you will be giving. Further, the regular assessment will be done at the 72 hour, one week, second week, third week, fourth week, and eighth week. The scales used in the study was CGI, BPRS and UKU side effect of this drug scale was used. What was the conclusion? The authors concluded a single injection of zucloflethixol acetate either in the 50 or 100 mg was able to control acute psychotic phase. Majority of them settled. Only 10 to 13 percent required second injection either at the 42nd hour or at the 72 hour. At the 72 hour, the combination of zucloflethixol acetate and deconate played a crucial role in maintaining the patient. That means the combination played very well in India. Then afterwards, monthly deconate injection can be given for maintenance. Invariably, 25% of them developed EPS. So my dear friends, you need to start either concomitant anticholinergic drugs or else you need to closely monitor every two weeks once. That means one-fourth of the patient 
are pruned for EPS. This may be the reason why it is not yet been approved in US. Now the question is how to start zuclofenthic salt deconate. Long-acting zuclofenthic salt deconate is given either 100 mg or 200 mg in a single shot. Invariably the patient has to be stabilized orally. Either maybe giving zuclofenthic salt uh, tablet dose or zuclofenthic salt acetate as I mentioned shortly. Afterwards, based upon the clinical response, every two weeks you can give zuclofenthic salt deconate either 100 mg or 200 mg. Now let's understand how it is given. At the zero day, zuclofenthic salt 100 or 200 mg is given. After 15 days, 200 mg zuclofenthic salt deconate. And from now onwards, every 15 days, zuclofenthic salt deconate 200 mg is given. However, to stabilize oral medication to be given for one week or else you can give a combination of deconate and acetate together. Continue this injection fortnightly. Side effect profile of zuclofenthic salt deconate. Sedation, hypotension, weight gain, Parkinsonism and also akathisia, rare NMS, pain at the site of injection were known. What are the other side effects? Ambulant patient who are receiving zuclofenthic sol acetate, there is high possibility of sedation. Hence, driving and operating machinery should be avoided. Even in zuclofenthic sol deconate, please do advise not to drive. Zuclofenthic sol deconate treated patient experience less depressive symptoms because of the receptor profile. There was one more study published in Acta Psychiatrica Scandinavica in 1991 by Wested and his colleagues. The title of the study was Zuclofenthic Sol Deconate and Aloperidol Deconate in Chronic Schizophrenia, a Double Blind Multicenter Study. Here, they looked into how effective was Zuclofenthic Sol Deconate compared to Haloperidol. They compared both the drugs in the maintenance treatment of schizophrenia patient. 64 patients were treated with either Zuclofenthic Sol or Haloperidol for at least 3 months. And they were randomly allocated either to these zuclofenthic sol 100 to 600 mg every 4 week or haloperidol 100 to 200 for every 4 weeks for next 9 months. The results were both the drugs were equally effective. And either of them could not be said one is better than the other. And they can also be given every 4 week intervals. But however the manufacturer say that it has to be given every 2 weeks once. There was a Cochrane review done by Cotino and his colleagues in 1999. This Cochrane review, the title was Zuclofenthic Salt Deconate for Schizophrenia and Other Serious Mental Illness. To compare Zuclofenthic Salt Deconate to oral Zuclofenthic Salt and other antipsychotics preparation for schizophrenia and other serious mental illness was the objective. Four studies relating to zuclofenthic salt deconate was included in the review. All compared zuclofenthic salt dec deconate with other depot preparations. And zuclofenthic salt deconate prevented or postponed the relapse when compared to other depot. However, zuclofenthic salt deconate may induce more adverse effect, especially EPS. As I mentioned in Indian study, it was 25%. However, the numbers were very small. Limited trial data suggests zuclofenthic sol deconate was better than other injection. However, the adverse effect you need to keep in mind. Hence, close monitoring is required and concomitant anticholinergic drugs can be started. Hence, the choice of this depot preparation is based upon the patient's clinical profile, his violence, affordability and also acceptability and whether the maintenance dosage the patient will accept. Another review done by Lacey and Jairam in 2015 in Cochrane Review, the title was Zuclofenthic Sol versus Placebo for Schizophrenia Patient. To evaluate the effectiveness of all formulation of Zuclofenthic Sol when compared to placebo and schizophrenia was the objective. Author did a thorough review and included all randomized control trial comparing zuclofenthic sol 
in all forms to the placebo, especially in schizophrenia and schizophrenia like psychosis. My dear friends, there are only two studies which were published in 1968 and 1972. There are no further any research was done with regard to zuclofenthic sol. No RCTs are available. And total number of participants in these two studies were 65 participants. Overall, the quality of these two studies were very poor since it was done long back. Significant, significant source of bias were there. So, the authors were not able to use all the data for comparison purpose. For people with schizophrenia, this review showed that zuclofenthic sol may be helpful in symptom of schizophrenia, prevention of relapse. Zuclofenthic sol is commonly used as an antipsychotic and it is disappointing that there is no big data is available about this. So hence, zuclofenthic sol decanot is not yet approved in US for marketing. Only it is available in European and Asian countries. To conclude, zuclofenthic sol decanot is a first generation antipsychotics and is well established in schizophrenia in clinical usage. The data regarding research is very very minimal. It can be given as a zuclofenthic sol acetate for acute care. Deconate for long term care. Invariably, the acute care zuclofenthic sol acetate is given at the zero hour and can be repeated only after the first day, that is after 24 hours. It can also be combined at the 72nd hour with the deconate, that is 100 mg of zuclofenthic sol acetate, 100 mg plus 200 mg of zuclofenthic sol deconate can be mixed in a single syringe and a single shot can be given. You need to keep monitoring for EPS. The reason is 25% of them will develop EPS. However, you can choose giving anticholinergic drugs concomitantly when the injections are given. The cost effectiveness of zuclofenthic salt deconate and acetate when compared to other long-acting injectables, it is very, very economical. The deconate single 200 mg vial cost only 660 rupees. That is around 6 to 7 dollars only. Zuclofenthic sol acetate costs 200 rupees. That is 2 to 3 dollars per dosage. The total cost of deconate will be 1320 rupees. That is 14 dollar. So my dear friends, zuclofenthic sol deconate can be chosen for maintenance treatment. It is economical. It improves compliance and decreases relapse. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.